doing better. While the facial system can be viewed as a fabric of continuity and communication, Biotransegrity can be seen as a model for explaining the architecture underpinning continuity and communication. Manchester was lame for eight years, but doing better. All the therapies focus on the hand leg, which were chronically inflamed. When the owner asked me to look at the horse, the owner comment with sarcasm, he's lame, but he's doing better. I told him that from my perspective, the hand legs were not the problem. The horse had a thoracolumbar dysfunction and using aberrant kinematic of both hand legs. It was a vast of time and money to treat the hand legs. The owner was surprised and angry. He walked away with his horse and came back without the horse asking me to explain. I did. The owner asked if I could fix the problem. I told him maybe, but the horse had developed over many years so many layers of protection that the usual mechanical thinking is unlikely to work. I will have to explore a dimension that is suggested by advanced research but not accepted by academic thinking. The owner took his decision. If you feel that you can restore his soundness, I will give the horse to you. This is how I became Manchester owner. Biomechanically, the problem was not accepted by the usual paradigm, as it was not the hand legs that created the back problem, but instead the thoracic dysfunction that cause aberrant and legs kinematic and consequent pathology. I was already advanced enough in my experience to know that correcting the thoracolumbar spine dysfunction corrected Lamb's kinematic abnormality. A change of tension anywhere within the system is instantly signaled everywhere else in the body, both mechanically and chemically. There is a total body response beyond the usual paradigm. I was concerned about the complexity of the body response. The term biotensegrity was not out at this time, but biotensegrity restored Manchester soundness. Each time I envision a logical orchestration of the different body parts, I meet a dead end. I was not aware of the close kinematic chain. I did not know that a percentage of the force created by the muscles is transmitted to adjacent muscles through fascial tissue. In my mind, muscle force is transmitted to the bone or joint through the associate tendon. Manchester reaction did not match biomechanical thinking. I already believe in the Ross willingness and participation in their work. And Manchester showed me that the Ross mental processing was a lot more sophisticated and willing than we are traditionally trained to believe. As Manchester rehabilitation moved forward, I observed that for both of us, our physique developed a sophistication in our perception and also greater ease in our physical interaction. When I read Scott Grafton's Physical Intelligence, I read explanation of what I have felt. Soon, I became comfortable with the two that I did not know who re-educate the other. Often, I did not understand why Manchester was now capable of executing this move. But this move opened the door for a more sophisticated coordination of his physique. I was already aware of this fact, but it became obvious that our all human psychology of submission handicapped the horse. Manchester 
refine his close kinematic chain and the processing was out of my control. I create situations, frequency, synchrony, and body alignment. The lacti to direct Manchester's mental processing in the right direction. And I observe his processing. At time, Manchester went in the wrong direction and I suggest a different reaction. Other time, Manchester's reactions were not in the direction I expected, but improve his body coordination. We learned to ask each other questions. Manchester felt that fondness was now possible, and I understood that his body function was more complex than my actual knowledge. Our M was his soundness, not my ego. Manchester became sound and graduate as our greatest schoolmaster. Once during a clinic, a student was nervous working Manchester in hand. Manchester could not understand the student energy. I approached Manchester on the other side and walked by his shoulder as the thing might integrate to him. Manchester respond to the delight of the student. Elizabeth Yule, Betsy, was the next student to practice with Manchester. She placed her hand on Manchester with her, started to adjust her body tone, and told me, smiling, go away. I saw what you did. I want him to adjust to me, not to you. We are a team. Elizabeth, Michelle, Honda, Helen, and myself work together to create the different science of motion program. HTC, Simple, Master One, and Master Two. Simple is the introduction to biotensegrity.